Hi, welcome back to Trilocus. Slightly different video for you guys today. Because we're all stuck indoors with this pandemic going around the world and it's very difficult to entertain kids and keep ourselves entertained, what do we do while we're stuck indoors apart from exercise videos, watching TV, watching Disney+, Plus, Netflix, whatever? Um, I like to tinker with things. I've got a classic mini and I've restored that to a very good standard. I do all the mechanical work myself on that particular car, but it's stuck in a garage a couple of miles away from my house, so I can't get to it readily. And so what do I do? I decided that I'd go out and buy a Lego Mindstorm kit. And uh, this kit costs, I actually got it 80 pounds off the retail price from Lego. And I've got that from a website called iWutu, which is I W double ot and it was free delivery but for an extra three pounds they guaranteed next day delivery and i purchased this at I think it was about 12 o'clock in the afternoon so 12 o'clock midday purchased next day delivery as well i wasn't expecting it to come until two days later because of the time scale and the, the limits on that it actually turned up the next day so i was really impressed with that and let's get going so it's for those of you that aren't aware it's a robotic kit from lego and it has various creatures designs things you can see there uh, and it's programmable so it's computerized programmable you can control it via your smartphone software on the uh, laptop or computer it comes with a little remote control as well which is cool and um, yeah, it's guaranteed to provide hours of entertainment. <coughs> there are a few um, downsides to it. There are so many bits and Lego only supply you with the instructions. Look at this little monster. So that particular model is, I'll go back to the back of the box as it tells us. So that's the tracker, which is this one here. The other ones which look really exciting, and you can make all of these out of the one kit. So you've got like a scorpion thing, a standing up robot, or a crouch down robot, which reminds me of the ones that were in Robot Wars, and Raptor, which is a little snake that runs around. So anyway, you can make all them other models but they only give you the instructions for this one. And the instructions are very easy to follow. I found, so we're making the tracker. This took probably, I'd say between two and three hours with the help of a seven year old. And these, if you want the instructions on the other kits, you have to use your QR code here and go to the website that Lego provide for those instructions. Obviously with this being Lego, it's entirely up to you what you build. You don't have to make any of these. If, you, if you've got the imagination, then make something totally different. So the kits, the instructions are very easy to follow. One or two places you do get a little bit lost because it's not totally clear how, and how it should be working and fixing together. But that's only if you're kind of rushing it and you're being interrupted constantly, as I say, by a little one, but that adds to the fun. So to help you have a one-to-one -one scaling for some of the parts in the instructions, and as I say, it took about between two and a half to three hours to build this particular model. First impressions is, um, yeah, I think this is gonna keep us entertained for a good couple of weeks, to be honest. Um, the little ones thoroughly enjoyed chasing the cats with it and if I can I'll, the things that I would say need a little bit more clarification are the actual instructions on how to use it because it might just be me I might not have read them somewhere but that's a typical bloke thing isn't it so um, anyway <clears throat> with the uh, so the negatives I think are the actual operating instructions are very vague you just get given this and then you have a little computer on here which is probably the equivalent of a pie but they obviously don't classify that as a pie it's lego's own tech and they've given it their own 
um, specific memory memory programming name and that is the the mind blast so it is very bit help it would be helpful if there's a few more instructions on how to get everything working and what does what so I'm learning with that and I will be posting videos as we go along with this on what things I've been able to make and how they actually operate what I've got come to understand is that on this controller the red button here goes up and down three different stages and that is for the various different ports so you have a port on the box which will control the wheels and then it has another port at the front which does the mechanics at the front which is the spinny thing so yeah I'm not too sure I haven't worked out yet what the third setting does but you can only have one item working at a time so for example if you're driving along going forwards or backwards then you can't have this spinning around at the same time but I do think that if you're clever enough you'll be able to develop the mechanics that will operate off the running gear so as the running gear is working this will spin around automatically the downside to that would be that obviously that would be constantly spinning and you might not want that to be constantly spinning um, I haven't got to grips yet with the programming because there is a whole bunch of programs that you can work out so this will work autonomously but as I say I've only built this yesterday it's given us a good couple of hours of fun already I've got an idea I've ordered <laughs> the wife knows about this so I can say it safely I've ordered another 400 parts and yeah that's right 400 bits off of eBay um, because I think if you're going to expand on this the, I notice on Lego their prices are as you would expect quite steep for what you actually get so I've found a couple of bundles off a chap on eBay and for about 30 quid I'm getting an additional 400 parts the downside to that is I don't know what those parts are going to be so it could just be 400 bits of the little tiny little rivet things or the axles <laughs> who knows um, but I did update video on how I get on with that it comes with more sent more, it comes with the two motors and this is an inf infrared sensor and another motor here there's two other functions there's a touch button and a light sensor which again it's all vague as to what does what and how you will use it so that's really going to be the idea and my plan with these little Mindstorm videos that I will do. I'll keep you guys updated as to what I'm going, how this is going really. Um, a, another example, something that I found whilst building this, I've actually added in this bar here because it's too close. I don't know if you can see that, but the, the cables on the back I felt would be too squashed together. So a little bit of improvisation there. I've added an extra bar and yeah it works okay the um these it, these are just real trim bits so if you haven't got these little white fins you don't really need them they don't affect anything and yeah i looked at spare parts the actual unit itself the brain with the computer in it is around about 200 pounds off the lego website so again if i was going to expand and add in extra little uh, cpus and brain parts then I'd be looking at eBay or somewhere else to find a cheaper alternative and the same with the uh, the, mo the motors so yeah overall really pleased with this this has given us a couple of hours of fun and it was going to provide us with many more hours of fun I can see in the future I've will let you know one of my ideas that I've got is I'm going to try and build an X-Wing fighter from Star Wars using these bits and what I would like to achieve with that is have it so that can it can run around on the floor with the uh, the tracks but I also want the wings to go in the x-wing position as well so that's what I'm thinking of doing long term wise which is why I bought the extra parts and uh, yeah it, as I say 
you don't have to get this from Lego directly. I got this from an alternative website. It saved myself 80 quid. It is still a bit pricey. It was just over 200 and... Uh, I'm going to not give away too much of the price, but it's... Yeah. But weigh it up. If this is something that's just going to last five minutes, then you'd look at it and say, yeah, it's just an expensive toy. I'm hoping that I'll be able to use this with my little one to develop a few of her actual building skills, math skills, there's the program inside of it. So I see it long term as an investment to help my little one develop and just progress quite well at school with this. So yeah, it, at the moment it's a thumbs up, come back for an update and uh, <laughs> whether or not it'll be an update or a thumbs up in a couple of weeks time or so, I don't know. But that's it really, just wanted to say that it's a brief overview of something that I think is going to be very entertaining for us as a family and as I say we're all stuck at home at the moment so what better way to give yourself something to do get your brain active and um, learn a new skill if you don't know programming I ain't got a foggiest about programming um, why not why not get get something like this and um, see what designs you come up with again I think yeah so yeah I, I would just say there doesn't seem to be a lot of information out there and this is possibly something that's been missed by people because Lego either haven't promoted it or other people have found it traditionally too expensive. But as I say, go and search other websites, find yourself a nice little cheaper model and have fun. I'll give you an update in a couple of weeks time and might even have a bit of progress on the X-Wing. See you then. Cheers.